So a lot of you aren't married, and you'd like to be. Like, what do you do in situations like this? Guy wants to marry this girl, they've already been talking or whatever, going out to dinner, and now they want to do the right thing, right? Or they want to get the family involved, they want to take good steps. Well, what do they do? See, here's the thing. Let's face it here. There is no way to know for a fact what type of person you're going to marry until you actually marry them. Psychologically speaking, dating will not do you any favors. It's not going to help you know that person more. It's going to help that person make a better impression on you, not help you know them more because until you live with a person, there is no way to completely know them. You don't wait a year to take your parents into confidence on these things either. You do it from the get-go. Don't think that you can disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do things haram, with the intention that you will write it one day and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to put barakah in your relationship. You're, you're fooling yourself. You're not going to fool Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are fooling yourself. And when parents are unreasonable, I will say this as well. You learn this the hard way, sometimes very later on, very much later in your life, but your parents are not seasonal. The whole world will turn their backs on you before your parents turn your back on, their backs on you. And you will learn that the hard way, right? Many, many times in life with friends, sometimes with spouses, with your teachers, with your closest friends, you will find that other people will be seasonal at times. Your parents will never be seasonal. They will not, even when your parents say, I'm not going to talk to you because you've decided to go forth with this, they don't really mean it. There are people in the audience, inshallah they're not, but there are people in, in the Ummah that are dating for a long time, a year, two years, three years. And the first advice that comes in my head is just get married. Doesn't matter who says what. Because you're, not, you're clearly not gonna let each other go. You don't? I completely disagree. That's setting them up, that's giving a temporary solution. You'll make them happy for now, but their relationship is going to fall apart. Look, I do marriages and divorces. I've been do I mean, I've been doing it for 10 years, personally. And most of the time when, when we gave in and said, okay, fine, just let them get married, they were divorced within three months because they've already gotten past all the rosy part of the relationship. Don't try to just take the pill that's going to make you feel good now and let you get married and then everything falls apart because you did not. Marriage is a rational decision. Marriage is not an emotional decision. So that's the point here. You look for compatibility. What is the main reason that people fall apart in, in, in relationships? Compatibility, correct? Lack of compatibility. You can't find that if... All right, I'm just going to stop now. No, no, I'm listening. I'm listening. I'm listening. You can't determine whether or not a person is compatible if the only thing you've seen are roses and nice restaurants and sneaking off into movie theaters and having conversations where half of the conversation is just fluff. Here, here's the thing, here's why I disagree with both of you. My argument, my problem is that these people are emotionally invested in each other and they have spent quite a bit of time together. Right or wrong, they've already done that. My personal problem is, why does some other man, why should this be some other man's fault that his now wife has emotionally already invested herself in someone else who's not going to leave her head anytime soon. And this is going to be a problem later, later on. Like they almost, almost like they deserve each other at this point. How many people actually end up marrying their first crushes or end up marrying the person that they thought was going to be their, you know, prince in shining armor and that was going to be their... How many people end up actually going forth with that, marrying that and end up in happy marriages? People who want to get married should talk to each other not ask each other what your favorite color is or what's your favorite song or, you know, do you like long walks on the beach too? And no, but like actually have serious conversations about compatibility. At the end of the day, we need to understand that when we go through relationship after relationship after relationship, up, we're, we're, we're killing our own ability to have meaningful relationships. Allah does not want that for us. It's not healthy for us to go through relationship after relationship after relationship and be broken down over and over and over again to where when we go into our seventh, eighth relationship and say, this is the one, we already are questioning and we're already, you know, we're already, uh, we already have this sense of paranoia that there's no way that it's going to work out. And we've already lost our own capacity to love. The, the first party you should be concerned with in anything that happens in your life as a Muslim, as a believer, is what does Allah think about this? What have I done to offend Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? The first thing you need to do is seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness sincerely from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter what the outcome of the situation is. Astaghfirullah, I've messed up. Oh Allah, guide me to what's best for me. I've messed up. Because then you, you bring back the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the irshad, that guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your direction in life.